In this video, we'll be talking about the inappropriate repair of a broken replication fork through the non-homologous end joining. Now, what will happen? For example, say in a DNA, one of the DNA strand is broken for uh, due to some chemical exposure or some mutagenic damages, and then what will happen? DNA replication fork cannot move on, and right after uh, it reaches that damage point, it will generate two types of DNA. One is the long segment of DNA. Another one is a short segment of DNA. Now, we cannot. Uh, resynthesizes all the uh, replicating regions of the DNA unless we make a recombination between these two DNA sequences. Now we can only do this uh, via we can do this via two different mechanisms. One via the homologous recombination. Another is via the non-homologous end joining. Now in non-homologous end joining, what we are doing, we are uh, we are taking out a short segment of DNA from non-homologous uh, DNA region or non-homologous chromosome, uh, and we are attaching itself with the short segment of DNA. As a result, we can see how these two chromosomes, non-homologous chromosomes, are linked with each other. And as a result of that, it will change or shuffle the genetic information that are being placed in these DNA sequences. But uh, at the end of the day, we are repairing or we are managed to repair the DNA sequences.